so today uh, we will see that how we compute the new HDI so uh, computations are uh, simple pretty much similar to what we used to have for our old HDI but then there are some very important changes so first quickly uh, what are the dimensions so the main dimensions are the same long and healthy life knowledge and a decent standard of living now here in the long and healthy life they have life expectancy and birth so this will give us the life expectancy index and then for knowledge we have two new indicators uh, these are expected years of schooling and mean years of schooling the old indicators are dropped uh, then for decent standard of living we use gni per capita which is adjusted for purchasing power parity and this gives us gni index when we combine all these three we get our human development index so let us see uh, so first we need to understand the goal posts so see uh, goal posts are the natural zeros and the maximums which these indices can reach so health life expectancy at birth minimum this is 20 this is uh, one that is observed the lowest uh, maximum 85 it is what the world aspires for uh, there are a couple of countries which have very close to 85 but still below that 85 years uh, education made up of two sub indices so expected years of schooling of course you can never attend the school so it is zero uh, minimum and maximum is 18 that is something that when you have completed your schooling that you have graduated uh, post graduated done uh, many years of schooling of course again zero is the minimum maximum is 15 years this is when you have completed your high school and other things uh, standard of living this is uh, gni per capita this is 2017 based on the 2017 and this is PPP base. So minimum is 100. This is considered the bare minimum below which it will be impossible to sustain. Uh, this is the bare minimum that came with the recent data as the data we are having better data about three countries. Uh, interesting is maximum 75,000. So why actually 75,000 uh, US dollars? So uh, there is a paper by Deaton and Kahneman where they found out that any additional income more than 75 US dollars uh, is not going to make much addition in human development. So that's why we take this maximum as uh, $75,000. So now we calculate the dimension indices of the same way that we used to calculate earlier. So we will have an actual value and we subtract the minimum value from this this will be your numerator and denominator is the range that comes from the maximum value and minimum value so this number will always lie between 0 and 1 so let's take an example the example is Guyana I have uh, taken this example from HDR technical notes 21 22 so link is here you can go and see it on yourself so uh, see the actual values for these indicators of Guyana is like this life, life expectancy at birth is 65.7 years expected years of schooling is 12 and a half year mean years of schooling 8.6 years and gross national income per capita is 22,465 so let us see the computation of indices so first health index so Guyana has life expectancy at birth of 65.7 while the uh, minimum is 20 so we get this numerator and then divide this by this denominator and we get the value of our health index this is 0 0.703 now but education index so here we need to be careful this has two sub indices i said that these indicators are now different from earlier and 
the method of calculating has also changed earlier we used to give different weights to these two sub indices now both sub indices get equal weight so one sub indices is expected years of schooling another is mean years of schooling so uh, we just calculate the arithmetic mean of these two to get the education index so see uh, this expected years of schooling for guiana so this is 12.5 is their uh, expected years of schooling and then it can be minimum can be 0 maximum is 18 again minimum is 0 so we got this sub indices as 0 0.694 then we calculate mean years of schooling so mean years of schooling for Guyana is 8.6 and maximum is 15 so we got the dimension index sub index as 0 0.573 now we calculate an arithmetic mean of these two to get the education index so remember that education index is this one not this not this these are components of the education index which is here and also notice that both these sub indices are getting equal weight rather than earlier where it was different now come to income index here uh, we use natural log of the incomes so this is the income of uh, Guyana this is the minimum this is the maximum this is the minimum so we get 0.818 as the income index we take natural log to so that uh, as we have more income the marginal utility that comes from this diminishes and this also reduces the huge variability in the income so now we combine the dimension indices to get the human development index again here there is very very major change earlier it used to be a simple arithmetic mean of these three so you add all three and divide by three now it is actually a geometric mean so what does it mean earlier there was perfect substitutability between health education and index suppose one country was doing phenomenally better at income index even if it is not doing well in one of these its overall hdi would be good or okay at least but now if any of these index is very low it's going to d drive the entire value down so then what we do we actually just put all three sub indices here and we got so uh, you multiply all three and then uh, to the power of one by three that is the geometric mean ah uh, so you got new hdi this is actually the new hdi this is 0 0.714 i hope that you got uh, the calculation how we do this if you have any query please ask in comments i will get back to you as soon as possible.